punya solar cair Beautiful outline, rounded tailboard, you know, it's pretty stock standard from that perspective. But uh, I mean, and this is a stock board, it's a 6.1, 31.2 liters, and I weigh 80 kilograms. Um, standard glassing, this is straight from the shop. I mean, the biggest distinguishing feature of this board um, compared to, you know, where people can make an era, this is not like what I would say a daily board at all. Like, this is for good waves. Um, it's got a lot of curve. And it reminds me of uh, the old Proton model that Al Merrick did. It was a super nice board for good waves, but the waves needed to be good, really good. Otherwise, it wouldn't go. The other board this board reminds me of is uh, the, the Fever. And the Fever, the reason why I say that is because just the standard hip. Um, but this part here yeah, kind of looks like the fever in that it's also got a really blocky tail. It's not thin at all. And normally with good way boards, they really make the tail a lot thinner. I like it that they've pulled in the width a little bit and they've fattened up the tail. So, you know, in all in all, the board surfs the way that it kind of looks from a design perspective, meaning that, you know, if you had to go and take off on a big wave, it's going to bottom turn really, really easy because you've got so much curve. Um, and as you take, you know, your front pressure, front foot pressure off, it's going to project. Um, and then from a turning perspective, it's not difficult to turn because you've got the hip, narrow tail. So, you know, it's going to have like, you know, for, for a good example, like power steering on a car. But then when it comes down to actually putting this thing in a big turn, really nice pinched rails. Um, it's going to turn really well off the rail. And then when you start putting real back foot pressure at the end of your turns or anything like that, it projects so well and actually brings you out of turns with a lot more speed. And that's because it's got this thick tail. And I like that. Um, yeah, the foil of the board in general, it's pretty thick if you look from the tail all the way through and that's where you know 31 liters and it's a 6.1 and it's not like it's the widest at the 12 inch mark it's not the, like it's the widest board but certainly i think that they hide foam really well with this board it's quite thick there so you can see it's quite thick at the tail and that's why they're getting 31 liters in such a nice package um all in all like great board for good surf um i think it's like a really easy version of the the proton but look i've had mixed reviews with my friends a lot of my friends don't like this board because they find it i think they're challenging to surf um it's not a daily board it's not a fever you know it's not a too happy you know that's a daily board this thing is for good waves and i almost feel like it's got two surf sweet spots in that you know if you're surfing off the front foot for barrels and you need to kind of almost step back and get your tail, get your foot on the tail, um, you know, when you're surfing more kind of rail to rail. So, you know, it's not a simple device, but hey, all in all, this thing is where you look is where you go on it. It turns so sharp and I, I really wanted a thinner board, like 31 liters I felt was too much but, and a lighter board. But all in all, like I haven't had the best waves. Um, I've had it for a month. And like it just seems to surf really, really neat and tidy, and 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 does it things so well. Uh, I, I I think like always, our Merrick guys seem to really, you know, build great products. And yeah, this thing is yeah, it's certainly a great tool. Anyway, that's enough for me. Um, I hope that was of some sort of value. I mean, just before I go, fins. I tried another set of fins in this, um, but all in all i haven't really steered from these all-round large almerics uh, you know not that i'm trying to like punt almeric but <laughs> i love these templates they go well you know for really carvy surf uh, surfing i think it's awesome these thin tips 
I like medium flex. Um, like I haven't had this board long enough to really explore the fin options. Like I said, this was the second one. It felt a lot better than the first set that I put in, which was the Geordie Smith, but uh, like the big Geordie Smith fins I had on this side, which are a little bit bigger than these fins. It's a very similar shape, but then I put a stiff back fin in um, because I was like trying to snap into barrels and things like that. And it just didn't feel balanced. And these fins feel uh, I'll have a, a lot more balanced, um, but I would like to explore a little bit more with fins. Anyway, that's enough for me. Cheers. Bye-bye.